Hey guys, so uh, Julie Katz had mentioned that she'd like to see me create some pearls with the uh, DecoArt Extreme Sheen, so I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I have created them in other paintings. I'll uh, include that at the end of this video, uh, a few of the paintings that I've created with pearl cells in it. Um, but I figured, why not try getting these tiny little pearl cells um, that people get with the 24K gold. So I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, I've never actually tried to get them. I just normally get them um, on a few of my paintings here and there. Uh, so aside from that, I was inspired by Mina's color uh, collection um, for a painting she did, and I can't recall the name of it yet, but I'll put it in the links uh, put it in a uh, put a link in uh, sorry I can't talk um, <clears throat> put a link of our video in uh, the description of my video uh, but she did use a couple of different colors I um, didn't have enough black so I took the black that I did have and I mixed it with some ultramarine blue and this is like a really, really dark navy and it's super pretty and I really don't think it's coming out on camera. Um, but I did coat, yeah, it looks black, but it's not black. <laughs> um, but I did coat this. I mixed my paints, two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and we're gonna go for it. Uh, she used Thalo Blue, I'm using Cobalt Blue. Uh, she also used Narteza Violet mixed with um, an ex Dream Sheen, I believe, a uh, deco art, not pewter, I can't think of the name right now, That maybe steel. Um, but, you know, watch her video if you get a chance. She's below, uh, in uh, linked in the description of this video, and uh, she does a full explanation of the colors that she had. Um, so I'm using Blick Acrylic, Blick Acrylic uh, Fluorescent Violet with uh, the purple flash mixed with it. Um, and I also added some amethyst by Extreme Sheen, the little bit that I had left in there. And this is the color I got. So she used the violet with a different deco art color. Um, and the violet was by Arteza, but I'm mixing it up a little bit and using those colors. And she also used um, the 24K gold and uh, I think that was it. But I'll relook at the uh, video real quick, but I'm gonna stop this for a minute, and then I'm going to come back to you with a layered cup, or layering my cups, my colors. Actually, I'm not even gonna layer. She does a dirty pour, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a dirty pour, and then we're gonna stretch this bad boy out and see what, what we get. All right, guys, I'm back. All right, so we're gonna layer our cup. Mina did not put down a base coat. I do, I just like to do that, but that is just me. So a lot of paint is gonna be lost. It's gonna go off the edges. I'm okay with that. Helps me create a composition that I like. Don't be afraid to waste paint because honestly, depending on your medium, and I use Floetrol, um, it, it's fairly inexpensive, a gallon of it here in the US. And it's about $14. Um, for the gallon and I use a lot of Floetrol um, Two parts Floetrol to one part paint and at times I add water Sometimes I add a little more it depends on how the color is looking So I know everybody freaks out you're wasting paint you're wasting paint, but in all honesty I'm not really wasting all that much paint um, It could be worse. It could just be Liquitex basics pouring medium and paint that I would have a problem with if that was me. Um, somebody would have to put me into some kind of Acrylics Anonymous group and talk about my problem on wasting paint uh, when it comes to the Liquitex Basics pouring medium, which is super expensive. Um, I'm surprised I haven't traded in my second or third child just to pay for some. Anywho, I do use it on occasion. It's really fabulous, uh, but I tend to keep with the Floetrol. It's more in my budget range. Um, I don't use glue. Um, in my paintings, I've just sort of stayed away from that. I've, I've, I, I can't say I've never used glue in my paintings, but I have. Uh, just 98% of the time, 
it's Floetrol. Sometimes I put some Liquitex Basics Pouring Medium and Varnish or whatever it is in it, but today I did not. So, because I don't have any, I can't afford to get any. With that said, let's, let's end my conversation here and just keep on going. We're gonna pour into the cup here. And we're going to do the blue, just pouring it right in. Mm, let's see, we'll put a little more of that in there. Maybe a little bit of blue. Did anybody notice something? There is no sweater on me today. <laughs> um, so, all right. Anyhow, let's get this poured. Did a little different, a little different. I get a little more gold here. And I'm gonna add a touch of water to it, my distilled water. Got some air bubbles in there. Got a little on there, I rushed it, I rushed it. All right. It's gonna roll off anyways, right? Right. Messy workspace. Let's see, shall we torch it? I say yes. Where are they? Where are those fabulous cells? Here they come. All right. 
So we're gonna give it a little torch in a minute. I love this. I know I poured a ton of paint off. Next time I will not do a base coat. But you really gotta stretch it. My torch is not as big as Julie's. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she's got like a flamethrower over there in Australia. Um, <laughs> yes, I know we can get some like that in here. Mina actually has a really cool one too. I got to uh, touch base with you, Mina, to find out where you get that. That's really cool. Um, Anywho, so as you can see, the cells are popping up. Those little pearls, ooh, that looks cool. Uh, from this side, it looks like uh, the Rolling Stones lip with mouth open, although now it's getting a little large. Um, so, Julie, I got those cute little cells you're looking for. Uh, this, this is fun. It is a hot mess, lots of paint. I'm gonna be able to scoop that up after, which I'm really psyched about. And use it. So I will scrape up this paint and use it. Um, we'll go from there. So stay tuned to uh, watch at the end of this video. Um, I have, I will include another video with my, let me see here, hold on one second, all right, I'll just leave it alone for a few, let it develop. Um, I will uh, put a couple paintings on a video so that you guys can take a look at them, that they do have the little baby cells in them, the pearls, as Julie has so decided to call them because they do look like little pearls. Um, anywho, so this is it. This is all there is for today, for right now. I've got the little pearls like Julie has asked for, um, but I can get them. And that is all guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, remember, uh, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, Visit my other links below and check out Mina's uh, inspiring uh, video. I did not keep anything like hers. I really just threw it all off. But the colors inspired me. The technique inspired me. And a little dirty cup. Good. Have a great day. And thanks for watching. All right, here's a uh, painting right here. 24 by 24 canvas. Um, the lighting is not very good right here, but uh, there are my pearls. All the way up here. Where are they? There they are, little babies. Look at those babies. Anyways, uh, as I'm making you guys seasick. <laughs> so this is uh, one painting that I've got them on. I'm trying to get the light to show the gold. And then I'll be up with the and next one. And here is another painting. There's a video way back um, with all the little little pearls in it. I don't think I named it anything, but it's uh, got those little babies. Julie was looking for them. There they are. I'd have to go through a lot of paintings to be able to find them all, but I know I have a few more. Uh, but this was fun. Uh, I don't know what to say. I got the pearls for you, Julie. Have a good one.